What is up everyone, this is D22 Games with you today, and today we are playing Paragon Open Beta. And yes, this is a game based on League of Legends, Heroes of the Storm, and any other multiplayer online battle arena games, or MOBA. Now, Paragon is published by Epic Games, and the objective here is to, believe it or not, destroy the opponent's alpha core. Or basically the or prime as they call it so the objective here it's pretty simple I mean what you do is you pick your character you assign your slots for your abilities and then what you do is you wait for the minions to spawn and then you destroy the turrets and then you destroy the inhibitor and then you destroy the or prime that's it that's the objective but looking at it it looks very polished and I'm playing this on PS4 as you can see here and the graphics look really good I definitely can give it that and the menus are just a little confusing to go through because there's just a lot that you see here and I was playing this on my PS4 and some of the menu buttons were a little hard to see because they were just asking me to spend your abilities right away and at the same time I wasn't able to find the button locations most of the time but then I found out that to spend abilities you have to press the center of the trackpad button on your controller in order to go to your menus. So I had to find out the hard way how to use the controls. It was just a little frustrating at first because when you initially play the game, it tells you if you are experienced at multiplayer online battle arenas or you're completely new at this. And if you select completely new at this, then it probably gives you a rundown tutorial if you've never played this game before. You select abilities and then you pick the abilities that you want to use and then you go from there. And in this, you go and select card packs. Now you equip the cards into the slots so that you can use them during battle. Like what we're doing is we're equipping potion slots, passive items so that it applies stats to your character and so forth. So what we're doing here is just we're applying items onto our item slots and you can use those items during your battle by using the directional buttons that you have assigned the items to. Now this system is very similar to all the other online battle arena games where if you go in League of Legends you purchase stuff from the shop and Heroes of the Storm you basically get experience and then you also purchase it from the shops. It just has a bit of a different feel because these characters we've never even heard of before and you can also choose between defensive characters, ranged attackers, and also melee specialists. So as we go through the game here, the menus look really clean, although on my TV it was a little small to see this, so I'm basically just using this as a reference to see how the resolution is affected when you're playing on a smaller TV, but if you're playing on a bigger TV then that is no big deal at all. So here we are just going out of our base and then we're following our minions. There's our minions right there. They look pretty cool. They're not like cartoony and all that. So so that I can appreciate, but for the most part here, it's just a very similar game to all the others that I've played. There's not really much to expect here, except that the gameplay is good. I mean, it's third person, which is not too bad, so you don't have to worry about any top downs or any other awkward camera angles. So you're basically playing sort of like a cross between Battlefront and Call of Duty Black Ops if you're playing in third person. I mean, that's a horrible suggestion of what it looks like but you know what this is just how I felt because I'm playing somebody that is a ranged attacker who uses a gun to shoot enemy minions and also enemy heroes as you call it and they have like AOE attacks single use attacks widespread attacks support abilities and all that other stuff so and you also have to go behind your turrets in order to make sure that you don't get hurt so if you cross that line the turret will come after you and you get to destroy enemy heroes along the way so if you go behind that line like you see there it the beacon points out to the presence of enemies and then it shoots at them it's the same thing for minions as well so this is basically push and pull strategy that you need to use here you gotta have good strategy and use your abilities properly and as you can see your mana and health bars are located at the center and your abilities are located on the left and then on the other part of the left abilities it tells you how many points you have to spend. I definitely believe that this game is really something to behold if you're a fan of the genre and you want something that's completely different. 
don't get me wrong I'm all for new games and just new types of gameplay especially if they really like multiplayer online gaming now that is something that I really enjoy because I like meeting new people and playing online because it's no fun to play by yourself unless you are doing a single player or a campaign mission or just a one player game altogether I have no problems with it I mean this is a pretty polished looking game the presence of it just stands out to a lot of other people and I find that this game basically has a certain je ne sais quoi and for those that haven't played this I mean it's great to be introduced to something like this because for those people that don't know how to play online battle arena games this is a great starter when you want to just do it on a console if you're not too comfortable doing it on a PC because most of the MOBA games are on PC and just generally are on PC whereas you don't see too many console games that are on the MOBA genre I mean I don't I mean this is just my knowledge but I don't really see many games that are in this classification but this is one of the first that I've played on the PS4 and it looks really cool and for it to be free for a few days just to try it out and see what it's like I mean it's great I mean I definitely would play it more if it was free I definitely would play it because it's just one of those games where you you can put it down or you can go full bore on it. It just depends on how you see it. But all in all, I mean, this game is really good. And I feel that there could be more to this game, but it's generally how you see it. I mean, I'm not too picky about video games. I'm a purist at some video games that I play, but I mean... I'm looking for something that's pretty linear and this game is pretty linear as it gets when it goes to the objectives and also just leveling up your character, getting new abilities, improving them as you go along in the game, beating enemies and just, you know, going through the motions of allowing yourself to complete the objectives. So yeah, I definitely think that this game has a lot going for it and the way that it's presented and released definitely has a way of bringing in new players to the genre and I feel that a lot of people can really get into the genre for these kinds of games. So everybody, thank you so much for watching this. I hope you get to try this game out because this game is quite fun and it just has a familiar feel if you are very familiar with these sorts of games but if you're not familiar with these games this is definitely a great game to be introduced to so that you know how to play games that are like this objective based fun character building and just plain old fun when you make friends on there so guys thank you so much for watching have a great day and game on see you later